Hey folks, why would I have a big wrench and another little wrench, a cup of coffee, and two little hockey pucks? Well, it's simple. Uh, this is uh, ABS from a company called Local Motors, if you know, there's a little bag of it, but then there's a big bag over there. Uh, that uh, It's carbon fiber reinforced. It's 20% uh, carbon fiber, but I also added 3% graphene to it. This was the uh, regular plastic hockey puck I made out of uh, ABS. So what we do here is, just for giggles and breaking stuff, uh, I will put this in here. Do 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 do. You guys gotta watch me use tools. It's hilarious, one-handed. And then I will just take this and grab this sucker and break it. All right. And that was fairly easy. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you know that was the first bend. Just totally, that was, that was nothing. Now, I haven't done this yet, so we get to drum roll, please. I have not messed with the carbon fiber reinforced and the graphene at three percent. I did it before with uh, graphene at one uh, percent, and it was very tough. So here we go. <laughs> I didn't even do nothing. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me try it again. There we go. Where did I break it? I did break it. Oh. <laughs> I would say that this took more than 10 times. I had to put my weight into it. Like I had to get on it and then just basically lean. I weigh about uh, 200 and, uh, well, a little bit over 200 pounds. Uh, some may, may say I'm fat, but who cares? But you can actually see the individual, this is really neat. Uh, maybe you can see it, I, I can't. Yeah, there we go, it's in focus now. But you can see the individual layers of the folding layers that I did to make this. The folding layers are actually a weak point. So I sat there and leaned on that sucker I mean, this this took nothing. That, was, that ABS was nothing, but that was really hard. I could, uh, in fact, if I had the stainless steel around here, it would have taken less effort to bend the stainless steel. I have I have some uh, stainless steel like this, um, and it, oh my god, that was just crazy. I can't believe I did it one-handed, uh, but of course I put my other hand, my elbow on the backside of that that uh, giant 18 inch wrench so uh, I had done it before with this this is the one percent which yeah let's let's do the one percent and see what happens let's see how how different uh, three percent and one percent are hold on sorry you're gonna have to look at the at the thing for a second and there's that and we will hold this I know this is a tight video and it probably looks like hell, but it really is something else. It's not its not the super scientific thing, but here we go, ready? Yeah, okay. Yeah, 3% is, I mean, the the 1% is tough, but that 3%, oh my goodness. And, you know, you can see the, the folds in there. So, yeah, this 3% with the graphene carbon fiber, wow. That was that was intense actually. That was that was really really hard to break, and I mean that's that's a uh, I would say four millimeters, maybe. I mean look at that. There's stuff on my hand. Anyway, but yeah, there you go. Uh, that's not the most scientific result, but we will have some results pretty soon. Uh, we're actually putting this material through a uh, what's called a twin screw extruder, and what it'll do is it'll mix much better than what I would do with my hand. Uh, it'll mix that graphene in there with uh, the ABS all nice and homogeneous. Uh, and then that will uh, then be something something to be reckoned with because we'll actually use real scientific equipment instead of just me bending and breaking stuff to get actual 100% results. You know, you'll, you'll have real shear stress and strength and toughness results and stuff like that and it, it, it'll be it'll be uh, better 
you know, scientifically, let's say that. And, um, yeah, that is something else. Anyway, wow, I, I am very surprised how hard that was. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, folks, and have a good day.